Hey, Shalom and Marcus Rakama Kapash and Jim Islam and giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chachwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom I'm out there to the whole for let's push these truth and all sincerity. I'm back again with another video, and um, you know, you know, they were doing down at the uh, was it the Barclay Center, you know, IAYC, right? And I was just checking out the um, the comment boards to this, right? You know, and there seems to be a lot of confusion. You know, with them, 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 them gutter rats and everybody else from the outside. You know, I just, I just read a bunch of ignorant statements, man, and you know, because you know, that's that's what this world does, man. It just, it just produces confusion, man. And a comment board is nothing but confusion, right? Obviously, you got you know Israelites on the comment board that are um, posting, you know, truth. All right, about who we are. Okay, and what these small hats are, who they are, you know. But you got the small hats and everybody else that, you know, is offended by, you know, what we're saying, you know, typing all kinds of stuff that they just don't understand, man. They don't understand the scriptures. Okay. They don't uh, they don't understand or really listen to what it is that we're saying. All right. But there seems to be a lot of confusion between what an Israelite is and, and what, you know, someone who follow, ju follows Judaism is. All right. And um, that's what the, that's the topic of the video, you know, the difference between, you know, an Israelite and Judaism, because yeah, he had some guys in there. Oh, <coughs> why why they got um why they got a um why can't they just convert? Why they got to be why they got to replace us? You know, small hats talking or, or these other people talking, right? Why can't they just convert? Why they got to be the the only ones? You know, but and you know why can't we like, why? Why are we allowed to, um, uh, you know, be the JOOs and all that kind of stuff, right? And it it boils down to this, right? What we are as Israelites is a nationality, okay? That is not that in itself is not a religion, okay? It's not a faith system. It's a, a natural lineage, which you know you Edomites, you small hats, you J O ishes, right? Are not a part of, okay? You are not the people. You have no claim to be an Israelite whatsoever. All right. Now, the religion part of it, which you know, you could um, you could describe as Judaism, you know, if you would like, right, is the system or the beliefs that we have inherited as a nation that was given to us as a nation. Okay. Therefore, they don't belong to. Heathens, they don't they don't belong to other people. It belongs to us as a nationality. Our, our beliefs, get our religion is part of our nationality. Right? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna get into that. Right? So you you guys out here you know portraying to be um the J double O's, all right, you you do not rightly um you know for lack of a better word own that religion or own that identity that identity is not yours okay you stole that identity okay like many others have in the past which also i'm going to get into <laughs> you know it's not something just because you take on a system of beliefs or you follow a particular book a torah tanakh you know the bible doesn't make you the israelites okay you have to be born by blood as an israelite and all these all these things written about the Israelites pertains to our people, which you have um, blocked and you know um, you know cut us off from that identity, man, through the slave trade, through through numerous acts, okay, that you still call white people and, and you J double O's, right? Because you're all the same, you all Edomites, right? Have done over these centuries, okay, denied us our identity, man, gave us new labels, new names. Byways and proverbs, right? We don't have an identity. You've destroyed that for us, man. You destroyed what we were, right? And Jay destroyed them themselves too with all this idol worship, man. But um, you know who we are is the Israelites by blood, not by some belief, not by not so by some belief system. Okay, that Israelites is just who we are. Okay, that is our true identity. All right, so let me get into this anyway. Let me get into this. 
What do I have here? Or something else. Right. So I'm going to start off here. 2 Maccabees chapter 14 and verse 48. Uh, let me start from 37, right? It says, Now was there, there accused unto Nicanor one Razis, or Razis, right? One of the elders of Jerusalem, a lover of his countrymen, a man of very good report, who for his kindness was called a father of the Jews, man. So this is, you know, this guy, Razis, right? Uh, was highly respected amongst our people, right? Which they use the term. Um, Jews here, right? Now, just a little understanding on that term, right? We know the nation of Israel is made up of 12 tribes. Okay, They're not all classified as Jews, right? The, the term Jew really pertains to the tribe of Judah. Okay, This is where we get the term from. It. And, and, you know, in, in latter time, the kingdom of Judah, anybody belonging to the kingdom of Judah was, was classified or deemed as a Jew, right? And that would predominantly be uh, the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? We know that the 10 tribes, they split off, right? They went into uh, the new world, right? The new lands, okay? The Americas, all right? But, you know, the Jews in Jerusalem, Benjamin, uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, they stayed in the land, right? So this is what he's saying when when when, when um, he mentions the word Jews here. He's speaking about these, these few tribes, ben Judah, Benjamin, Levi, that were still there, <clears throat> the kingdom of Judah. All right, that's what that term means, right? In this context, right? So he was, a, he was a you know well respected man amongst our people, right? So for verse four, thirty-eight, for in former times when they mingled not themselves with the Gentiles, he had been accused of Judaism, and did boldly jeopard, jeopard his body and life with all vehemency for the religion of the Jews. Right, the religion of the Jews. The, the Jews is a nationality, right? Because you're coming from tribes, right? You're coming from particular tribes. That's where you belong. That's where you come from, right? But our religion, so to speak, is the laws, such commandments that the Lord had given us, man. The ways, the system of, of you know, uh, of belief and how we should be conducting ourselves according to the laws, such as commandments. That's what was given to us, right? That's that's our belief. That's our religion. This, these books and you know all that's written are, is our religion. What we believe in, how we conduct ourselves uh, by, right? But being a Jew is a nationality. Same way being an Israelite is the same thing, right? It is a, a, a bloodline. Okay, and what we inherit as a bloodline is these system of beliefs, these 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 words, these, these you know these books, right? That is what we inherit as a nation. It belongs to our nation. Right? Because the religion is of the Jews. Okay? It's theirs. It's ours. Right? So, this idea of, you know, con converting or just, just, you know, joining unto them, that's not the same thing. We're, what we're saying is that you're, you, you are not the Israelites. Okay? We're the Israelites. You, you, you've joined unto our thing. <laughs> you've joined unto our thing. Right now, you had some people in the comment boards. Oh, oh, where were they? Oh, do they go to this and that? Do they go? Do they go synagogue and do they do this and do they? Where is this guy? Where, where is he? So yeah, this guy Matt Gutfreund, right? So does that mean they go to shul synagogue? Rap tell 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 feeling fast on Yom Kippur. Like well, we do those things. So I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> you know, um, but it's about how we should educate ourselves in Judaism, bro. We we're the originators of that. Right now, yeah, we lost our way, okay, and and that knowledge is beaten out of us and had to be uh, returned unto us. But we are the originators of those things, man. What you're into now is our system of beliefs, the things that we were doing. You know, you're trying to pull off, man. You know, poorly, might I add, man, because you don't even, you don't really follow the, the 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 Tanakh and the Torah anyway, man. You got your own Talmud thing going on that you that you like to follow, sucking on wieners and shit. But um. You know, that system of beliefs belongs to our people, right? And and we are the people. Okay, you ain't the people. Okay, you are, you are nothing but converts. Okay, but that doesn't that doesn't make you the people, and that sure doesn't damn sure doesn't mean that the promises and the blessings pertain to you, man. You ain't God's people. 
All right. So I'm going to read that one more time. Verse 38 says, For in the former times when they mingled not themselves with the Gentiles, he had been accused of Judaism and did boldly jeopard his body and life with all vehemency for, for the religion of the Jews. Right? So he was, he was an upstanding man. He, you know, ride or die type, man. He defended his way of life, man. His beliefs. You know, to the Lord such commandments. Okay, in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? So he's one of those guys, man. Okay, ride or die, die types, man. Right? He defended... Um, you know, uh, the, his religion, okay, the words of the Heavenly Father, man, okay, which belongs unto the Jews, us, right? So from there, I want to go from this, is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4, right? And just to show you, man, this religion of ours, our belief system, is these Lord, Lord's statutes commandments that the Lord had given us, man. He set out the way of life unto us, how we should live. How we, should, how we should treat one another How we should con conduct ourselves, right? And that is how we're supposed to live by right, Deut Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 44 says, And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments Which Moses spake unto the children of Israel After they came forth out, out of Egypt Right? This is what was given to us, man All right? Given to us, you know. In his Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 11. So there, thou, thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them, right? That's This is what we're supposed to be keeping. All right? Yeah, let's see here. Okay, that's what I'll get from that. Uh, all right, so what I want to get into now, man, just so we just, you know, uh, showing that um, that being an Israelite. Or being a, a Jew is an identity, okay, of, of, a, of a nationality, right, of a tribe that you have to belong to by blood, right? These these small hats don't belong to no tribe of any tribe of Israel. Okay, these guys belong to the tribe of you know of the tribes of Edom or Esau. All right. So being that is a nationality, and then what we're doing is claiming our nationality. So when we're saying we're Hebrew Israelites, we're, what we're saying is that we are biblically the Hebrew Israelites, the Israelites that are in the Bible by blood. Right, and yeah, there's no documentation that can prove that. And get, but guess what? There ain't no documentation that you small has uh, belonged to them either. Right? You ain't got documents going back to the patriarchs. So don't give me that shit. All right. So this is all based on faith. This is all based on the scriptures. Okay, and the prophecies. Okay, that are assigned for our people. Okay, that's what it's based on. This is the proof. This is the evidence. You want to find the evidence? You got to find it in the Bible, man. Because there ain't going to be no documentations of personals, man. Right? You have to go by the scriptures. And these guys in the land of Israel today do not fit the scriptures of the chosen people. All right? So that's what we're claiming. We're claiming to be Israelites, okay? The children of God, okay? By, by blood, by birth, <laughs> right? And the, and the ways that you're, you're holding, okay, the, the, the Judaism part, the, the belief system that you're holding is really ours. You know, but, you know, you people deny, deny us, man. You deny who we are. All right. But anyway, what I want to get into now is the fact that, you, you know, you've had people in the past, nations in the past that have adopted our ways, adopted our belief system, you know. That, that um, submitted themselves under the law, statutes and commandments. Right? These are known as converts. People that do that are converts. Anyone that doesn't be don't belong from the, the bloodline of Israel and the 12 tribes are converts that do this. Right? And you have heathens that have done this in the past and, and they still believe that they, you know, they, they're Israelites to this day. But a lot of them not. Right? Just because you follow the ways don't make you an Israelite. 
you might be like I said, you might be submitted under under the under the religion of the Jews, but you you ain't you ain't an Israelite. So therefore, you know those things pertaining to the Israelites don't belong to you, man. They don't pertain to you. Okay, you're just a servant, right? So let me get this example here from Second Kings seventeen. Right. Uh, I'm going to start from verse 22. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did, they departed not from them, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, okay, removed us from the land, as he had said <coughs> by all his servants, the prophets. So Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Kutha and from Ava and from Hamath and from Sepharvim, uh, Sepharvim, okay, and that. I'm going to go out in a limb here and say, you know, um, Sephardic Jews, right? Because you got, you got, you know, you got these different uh, so-called types of Jews in these different regions, right? That identify themselves as Jews, but some of them are. I'm not going to say the game, uh, but like I said a lot of them are just heathen that have adopted the ways of so-called Judaism, our, our belief system, these laws, statutes, and commandments, and made themselves believe or made themselves believe that they they were Israelites, you know, generation after generation. They just believed that that's what they were because they had the customs. But just because you've got the customs don't mean shit. Okay, you have to be descended, descended by blood. All right? Anyway, in the spirit, right? Um. So, yeah, the king of Assyria took all these guys from, from you know, different places, right? And said, and placed them in the cities of Samaria, okay, which is in Israel, instead of the children of Israel. Okay, they replaced them. Much like today, we've been replaced in the land of Israel by a heathen. And they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. All right. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not the Lord. Therefore, the Lord sent lions among them, which slew some of them. All right. So they were just being heathens. They're just doing what the hell they wanted to do there. You know, and the Lord, you know, was pissed. So he sent lions and, and stuff to tear them up. All right. It says, um, verse 26, Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the God of the land. You don't know how to be, you don't know how to act, you don't know how to behave in the land, man. The Lord's holy place, holy land. Okay, there's a certain way you got to act there, right? It says, um, <clears throat> Therefore he hath sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests whom ye brought from thence, one of our priests, okay, the Israelites, right? And let them go and dwell there, and let him teach them the manner of the God of the land, right? So they sent one of us to go teach them the law of such and commandments, man. You know, to carry to follow the law. So the law wouldn't jack them up. Because if you do righteousness, righteousness is righteousness, man. If you do the righteousness, man, the, God, the most high ain't going to jack up if you're doing the righteousness. Right, but these these heathens are not accustomed to righteousness, so they they automatically automatically going to do mostly wickedness, man. Right, so you have to be taught. Now, the knock on effect of this now is after that they've been taught and they was carrying out these these um, these duties and these laws and, and all that kind of stuff. Generation after generation, man, that just becomes a custom of the people, and even you know from these different lands, right? And they go back and they you know they take that with them. And their children, 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 children carry on those 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 traditions, man. All right, that's what happens. Now, based off that, because they were keeping such customs, you'll say, "Oh yeah, they're, they're they're Jews then." But they weren't, were they? They weren't Jews. They were these were heathen that were there, that had our customs. It's the same thing today. You 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 small hats, man. You J double O's. You have our customs, man, but you don't descend from us. Okay, we want, and what we're saying is that, look, we know who we are. We know who you ain't, right? That's where Revelation 2 and 9 comes out. We know who you ain't, right? And we're taking back our, our identity, man. We're, we're taking it all back. Okay, when the Lord comes, we're going to take back our land. Just because that's prophecy, right? Because you've stole something. <laughs> you stole a lot. You stole a lot of things, right? And you have to give them all back because they don't belong to you. This is what we're saying. Or well, this is what's being said, right? So this example here, right? We go, we go, we go. Jump into uh, into the New Testament, so called, right? Um, in a second, let me finish this off. This is um, what does that say? Let 
Let me just get verse uh, 29 here. So how be it every nation made gods of their own and put them in, in the houses of the higher places and which the Samaritans had made every nation in their cities wherein they dwelt, right? So uh, they're in Samaria. We've got the Samaritans mentioned here, right? So we're going to fast forward a little bit. We're going to show you something. Right, because this woman here was one of these, right, believing to be an Israelite of some type, right, but she wasn't. Okay, and the Lord made it clear to her because she was one of those those remnants, one of those heathens that grew up believing or following all those customs, right. So here's John chapter four verse seven here, right. So there they come with a woman from Samaria to draw water. This is a long time after, by the way. Can't tell you exactly how many years, but it was a long time after. So you've had you've had plenty of people out there, many generations that have come upon the earth believing this or believing themselves to be Israelites. You know? But they were just converts, right? So they're coming for woman of Samaria to draw water. Yahweh shall I say unto her, give me to drink. For the disciples for the sorry, for the his disciples were gone away unto the sea to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it thou? How is it that thou being a Jew askest, askest, uh, askest drink of me, which I am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. And Yahweh shall answer and say unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God and who is who it is that saith to thee, Give me the drink, thou wouldest, wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence thou hast thou that living water? Are thou greater than our our father, she said this, right? She was, she was claiming that Jacob was her father, right? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Yahweh shall answer and say unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Yahweh shall say unto her, Go call thy husband and come hither. And the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yahweh shall say unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou hast is not thy husband, in that saidest thou truly. The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers, again, she's claiming that our fathers, okay, being Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right, worship in this mountain, and ye say, that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship, right? So her, her fathers worshipped and believed in, or so-called believed in, you know, our teachings, right? So Yahweh shall send to a woman, believe me that our cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what, right? Because it doesn't belong to her. It was She's a heathen. It didn't belong to her. Right, talking about her fathers, we, her fathers worshipped in this mountain and blah, 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 blah. That don't matter. It don't matter what they were doing. That doesn't make them children of the promise. That don't make them children of God. All right? So the hour come and now is when the true worshippers... So like I've jumped down too far. So verse 21, Yahweh shall I say unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, the time cometh, right? When ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem, Jerusalem worship the Father, ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Right? The salvation is for our people, not for the heathen. It doesn't matter if you're practicing, practicing the laws or, or anything like that. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. All right? The true believers of Israel. Right? Not not some heathen. The heathens that can't be included in this. Right? They were just converts. Okay? So God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Right? So he you know she was denied. Right? This is from Romans 9, verse 4. 
Uh, let me read that. Let me start from the top. So I say the truth in Christ. How shy I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from you, Shai, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Okay, so Paul's making a, 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 an admission here that his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, are who? Verse 4. Who are Israelites. Okay, that's his kindred. That's his brethren. Okay, that is who Yahushai came for. Right? It says, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. It was given to us. It wasn't given to the Samaritans and the, and, and, the, and these heathens or anybody that wanted to join in. Okay, it wasn't given to them. It was given to us, man. We were the children of the promise. These promises weren't made with the other nations. You could believe what you want to believe. You could follow the laws. You can have the, you know, you can believe in Judaism or whatever it is that, you know, you want to do. But if you ain't the children of God, if you ain't the Israelites, none of that matters. Okay, it ain't going to matter in terms of your salvation. And the same goes for um, uh, the Edomites, right? Uh, the Edomites, right? Because, hey, we converted a lot of Edomites <laughs> at one point in time. You know? But they didn't, they didn't make... Um, they didn't make them Israelites. And this is where you get these Edomites, to, uh, these, these small hats today, these JOOs. They're just converts from a past time, believing themselves to be something that they, they, they weren't. Right? They, they think that Jacob is their father. Well, <laughs> they think Jacob is their forefather. Okay? Isaac was his father, but they, you know, they're thinking Jacob is their forefather, and he ain't. <laughs> Jacob's our, uh, <laughs> well, their brother. Right? An uh, evil brother. Well, Jacob's a righteous and Esau's the evil brother, man. Right? Your father, your forefathers isn't Jacob. You don't descend from the twelve tribes. Okay, but you've taken on our customs over over you know over these years, man. And now you just, you know, you think yourselves to be the people and you ain't. You know, you don't fulfill in prophecy of the chosen. You ain't. Okay, you're playing the role of the wicked. Right? But just a just a quick one, right? So um John High Kinda, so during the time of the Maccabees, you can read that in the Maccabees, right? You know, we had beef, right? We had um we had a lot of uh beef with Esau and that as well. And um we subdued a lot of them, man, and and, and forced them to follow our ways. You know, just like the Samaritan woman, she she was you know, and her forefathers and all the other heathen you know at the time, the kings and that, they were following our ways. Okay, they were converts. Okay, but they didn't. They didn't. Um, they don't. They don't become inheritors of the blessings because they're not Israelites, right? They were just simply keeping the ways, you know, keeping our religion, you know. And this is where we get the idea of Judaism from. That, but now it's like a like a universal thing that oh, anyone could just you know believe in Judaism and follow the ways of Judaism. That's not how it really it really is. It's something that belongs to us. That, that is our way of life. Now, in the future, in the kingdom, yeah, we're going to make all nations uh, obey our laws. Right? We're going, to, we're going to be administers of those laws. So everybody at some one point is, is, going, to, is going to learn our laws and keep them. But, um, you know, the, 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 well, these people right now, these small hats and that, they're not even keeping it anyway. No one, you know, no one on this planet is keeping them. But um, in the kingdom, that's going to go out into the earth, man, and people are going to Respect that law. All right. Anyway, so John Hyacinus was a Hasmonean Maccabean leader and Jewish high priest of the second century BCE. Um, so during his campaign, Hyacinus conquered Adora, Marasha, and other Idumean towns. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's from uh, the Josephus. I think Antiquities thirteen point two five seven. I think that's where it's from. Anyway. So Hyacinus then instituted forced conversions of the Idumeans to Judaism, our way of life, right? But like I said, it didn't make them inheritors. Okay, it didn't make them Israelites. That's not how it works, right? So the, this was an unprecedented move for a Judean ruler, right? We needed the numbers, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we needed um, uh, cannon fodder, <laughs> you know? But that's what happened. You know, 
at times there there have been nations that have taken on our, our customs our beliefs or you know our ways of life so to speak right and i've I've kept them for a certain amount of time and and you know like i said the knock-on effect of that is them then now believing that they're israelites because they they think you know that's what they were they, they were involved with right but that's not the case all right um okay It's Revelation chapter 3 verse 9 It says Behold I will make them of the synagogue of Satan Which say they are Jews and are not but do lie Right So like we've been saying You know there are Imposters on the earth Right Or posers Posers on the earth right That are claiming to be the chosen people And are not Right Now Us you know the Hebrew Israelites. You know those, those. You know the ones that you want. You like to demonize, right? We've we're fulfilling the prophecy of coming back into remembrance, right? But being told we're not who we say we are. Okay, we're not acknowledged as the as the Israelites of the Bible. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. I don't know why I'm being lazy. I could just go to Isaiah. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Isaiah 1 and 10. Just being lazy. Um... Yeah, I was there 1 and 10. It says, Yet the number of ch children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Okay, bear in mind, read this. You know, uh, the Lord is um, essentially turn, turning his back upon us, man, because of our wickedness. Um, but, you know, the Lord was going to offer a way back. Okay? And this is what he said in verse 10. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Okay, we're not recognized as the children of God right now. Right now. We don't have an identity. That's how bad it is. Our, our identity has been destroyed. And we're whatever Esau wants to call us, man. After all this, after all that, black, brown, colored, African, whatever, man. You know? And, um, you know, spick, wet back, whatever it is. You know, we don't have a real identity. Because we we were taken into slavery, right? We don't we're not we are no people at this moment in time. But you know that understanding of who we are is, has has come back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to to the remembrance of who we are, and we're claiming our identity back, right? And this is what we're saying now, right? But like I said, the world don't recognize us as the children of Israel. All right. Let me get one more before we move on. Mm, that's not the one I wanted. Ezekiel from uh, 37. So he said, um, verse 10, So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came in unto them, or came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding army. Okay, we've got the camps out there, right? You people were afraid. Right, so he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy and said to them, Thus saith the Lord power. Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Right? Like I said, we've been cut off, man. We don't have an identity. We've been dead for all this time. 
but the Lord has brought back this this um, this knowledge to us, man. Okay, and now we're living. We begin to live again, right? And you should know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought up out of your graves. So it's a, it's a, and a, and a crazy thing that happened. And that's why it's a strange thing that's happening in the eyes of the world right now. You've got a bunch of Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans all, you know, waking up and calling themselves Israelites. Like, where the hell did that come from? And it's a strange thing to the world to, to witness that. Okay, but that's what's happening. And people are afraid. that The, the world is, sh is shaken by this. You know, people don't understand what's going on. They're just calling it hateful, man. They're not considering the, the idea that everything that we're saying is, 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 is true. They don't want to. They don't want to acknowledge that, man, because they know they got a big fucking fat tap to pay. Okay, which the Lord is going to give the destruction for, man, because you can't pay it, right? So you don't really want to acknowledge that, okay? All right. Is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter two, verse thirteen? Okay, and this is the, a conversation with the wicked, man. You know, these Edomites and the like, right? When you read it through, right? But I'm going to jump down to verse 13 here. So he professes to have the knowledge of God. He called himself the, ch the child of the Lord. That's us. We're doing that. <laughs> We're doing that, man. So he was made to reprove our thoughts. That's what we do. He is grievous unto us even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. Because we've got the Spirit of the Lord upon us, man. So we are esteemed of him as counterfeits, right? Because you got, like I said, heathens posing as Israelites, posing to be the children of God, you know? But we're calling them out, okay? We call them counterfeits. We're calling them imposters, liars, right? And for the most part, these average ass JOOs and these Edomites don't know shit. They don't know. They think they're Israelites. Fine. <coughs> so did the Samaritan woman. So did the heathen that were brought into land and learned our ways. They thought they were Israelites too. But guess what? You ain't. All right? So you can believe what the hell you want to believe, man. You can say, oh, my father, my family's been, been practicing Judaism for 500 years. Or some shit. You can say all that. But if you ain't an Israelite by blood, it don't matter. Ain't, they don't change a damn thing, man. You're still going to slavery. <laughs> you know? That's that's all it is. Just because you adopted our, our way of life don't mean shit. Okay, you're going to be punished all the same. The heathen are going to get punished. Okay, and only the Israelites, beginning with the elect, are going to be delivered. All right? But anyway, so we have esteemed him, we, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits, fakes. He is saying from our ways as from filthiness, he pronounces the end of the just to be blessed. Right? The end, our end to be blessed. Not your end or these, you know, these heathens' end. It's our end that's going to be blessed. Your ways are wickedness in the world, man. And that's why in the land of Israel, nothing but wickedness going on in that land, man. Because the, true, the children of Israel are not really there. Right? That's why you got pink parades and, you know, all that shit going on. That's why you still got war in the, in, in the country. You know? That's why your, your people, a lot of them don't believe, man. They're not, they're not, they're not believers. They're not, they're not uh, uh, um, dedicated to to the scriptures. These men want to be fucking Americans, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just want to live the American life. You know, they don't give a shit that they're, they're supposedly Israelites or from Israel. I don't give a shit. Because Israel itself is a secular state. So it's not set up like how it's supposed to be set up according to the scriptures, man. So how is that the fulfillment of prophecy? All right. It says, um, he pr pr uh, pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make it bo his boast that God is his father. Okay, we're saying those things, man. We're coming out and saying those things and you people are, are, are disturbed by it, man. Okay, you're disturbed by that, man. Right, that's why it's going to be... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, something to behold, crazy, crazy event when you know you start seeing Jake getting beaten up into chance while you're sitting there, you know, dancing with fire. You know, 
So let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in, in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of God, he will help him and deliver him from, from the hand of his enemies. And that's what you're going to witness, man. It's going to become a strange sight to you. All right. So let us examine him with despitefulness and torture. And this is what I mean. This is what you're going to do up until the missiles come. You're going to de demo demo us, demonize us. Right. Persecute us, man. Anybody that speaks a whiff of, of, of any type of Israelite, whether it be Kanye, whether it be us, Kyrie, any of them, you're going to demonize us, man, and, and, and make us out to be, you know, the wicked in all of this, man, the evil, when we're not. You know, we're the ones that got fucking put into slavery. You're the, you know, you're the ones that are putting the lashes on us, man. You're the one that, that persecuted the children of God. Right? And you got to pay for that. All right? <laughs> it says um, that, that we may know his meekness And prove his patience man To see if they really are the children of God Right And we're going to do that The Lord willing hey, The elect are going to pass all of that man It says let us condemn him with a shameful death For by his own saying he shall be respected Right And this is what they do They're shaming us man You know And labelling us So the, the world looks at us man In a, in a You know disapproving or hateful fashion man and then the old me don't give a shit if we, you know, die, get put to death. Oh, he was, a, he was a hateful, hateful individual anyway. Racist. Bigot. All that shit. You know? So such things did they, did so such things they did imagine and were deceived. Okay? You're fools. You're idiots. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Right? For their own wickedness have blinded them. Right, hey, you, you're blinded, man. You don't understand or, or, or see, and you ain't gonna until the missiles come. All right, this is from Zechariah 9, verse 6. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod again, another place in Israel. A bastard, someone that don't belong there, someone that is not a descendant of Israel, is dwelling in the land. And, and we've got the Palestinians there, we've got these, these small hats there, okay, all, all, all different kinds of nations there, man. Okay, they don't belong to. You even got some of our own people that are actually in the land of Israel, man, in some in some next corner somewhere that they, you know these uh these smarts are giving them, you know. But you know the heathen that are there, man, or well, everyone that's there, if I'm, if I'm gonna be real, right? They're all gonna get wiped out. They're gonna be destroyed. All right, and the Lord comes to bring judgment on the heathen in that land. The land is gonna be cleansed, right? But right now we got heathen in our land. Right now. Okay? And like I said, it's made up of all these different nations that, like I said, you know, for one reason or another, end up being in the land, you know, following our customs or, or and doing whatever, man. Okay, while we you know, while we were chased out of the land, the Lord scattered us into the four corners of the earth and put us into slavery, man. Right, Ezekiel 36, verse 1. Also thou, son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord power, because the enemy have said against you, our enemies, right? Aha, even the ancient higher places are ours in possession. We're not, we're not in possession of our own land, man. Okay, the heathen have it. Right? And like I said, it don't matter what reasoning uh, they're using that they have it talking about oh you know we, we, we've we been practicing Judaism and all this and that we're the people it doesn't matter what you think the fact of the matter is if you ain't an Israelite that ain't that land ain't yours okay none of it is right so therefore prophesy and say thus saith the Lord power because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side that's not what happened to the so called Negroes Hispanics and Native Americans were swallowed up man right that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Yeah? So therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord power, thus saith the Lord power to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey, 
a derision to the residue of the heathen that are around about. Right? It's in the position of the heathen. And it's, you know, it's always saying is that you ain't the people, you've stolen our land, okay, and the Lord is going to bring it back to us, man. And, and he's going to remove you out of it. Okay? You can believe whatever it is that you want to believe, man. You can believe that you're the Lord's people. You can believe all that. Do whatever. Okay? It don't change the fact, man. Okay, that that, long belo that land belongs to the Israelites. The promises and everything else, the covenants, belong to the true Israelites, okay? And that just ain't you. Okay, you're just nothing but converts, man. Talking about how, uh, how why, why can't we just convert? No, we are the people, man. That, that That's our ways. Okay, that ain't your ways, man. You're a bunch of heathens. You know? You're acting like you're, you're talking from a higher higher position, man. Looking down on us, man. That we have to convert to your ways. No, 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 no. That's not how it is. You've stolen our ways. Okay, you took them on yourself, man. And now you're trying to trying to um, uh, lord it over us. No, no, you ain't the people, man. You're beneath. Right? Imposters, right? Um... So therefore, thus says the Lord Power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, against all Idumia, which is the Edomites, right? Which I have appointed my land into their possession. Right? The Idumians have got our land. Okay, these Amalekites, the tribe of Edom, right? With the joy of all their heart, with the despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, thus saith the Lord power, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury because you have borne the shame of the heathen. Because we went into, into idolatry, man. All right. Thus there, therefore thus saith the Lord power, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, sorry, surely the heathen that are, that are about you, they shall bear their shame. All right, so this is this is all gonna um, you know uno reverse, man. <laughs> okay, the heathen are gonna end up getting judged. All right, I'm gonna close up on Ezekiel thirty five here. Damn. All right, thirty five verse one says, "Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it.' Okay? Again, Seir is associated with Esau, with Edom. All right, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, Power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. Okay, we know the Lord, the Most High Yahweh, hates Esau. Okay, that's stated in the scriptures a couple of times. The Lord hates Esau. All right." He says, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay the city's waste, or thy city's waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. See if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right? But you've constantly come against this man. No errors. Right? But in this time, man, you've actually had this in slavery for, you know, <laughs> a bit still. You know? 400 years or so. You know? And you've been, you know, loving it. You've been you're loving the fact that you're fucking us up. Right? Made help made a hell of money. You know? So um So the do, 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 do. So thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with the, with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers, shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolation, and thy city shall not return, ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. Talking about the southern and northern kingdom. Alright? The ten tribes and, and you know, 
Benjamin, uh, Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? You have us in a, we, you have us in your possession, man, in the land of America, right? And the rest of us that are scattered, obviously, but you know, America is that predominant place, man. All the tribes are there, right? And this, this is where the the bulk of our oppression is, all right? It says, um, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and like I said, you actually have the land also. Okay, we will possess it whereas the Lord was there. Right, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, power, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Right, so it's going to be apparent in the day of the Lord who's who, who's getting judged, and who's being delivered. Okay, we're going to see. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying they are laid desert, they are given us to consume. Right? The problem is, it's, it's not yours. The land of Israel is not yours. Okay? We as a people are not yours. We, we belong to the Heavenly Father, man. And, the, and you're, you know, lording it over us like we're your property. You think you can steal from the Heavenly Father and get away? Even that's a likely outcome <laughs> that you can that you can steal from the heavenly Father and get away. Nah, that's not what's going to happen. All right. So thus with your mouth you have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. All your pride, man. Thus says the Lord, power when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate, as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate. So will I do unto thee, thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Okay, that's the judgment, man. Okay, you're going to be made out to be the foresters that you are. Okay, we're going to be revealed to be the children of God, as we say we are. All according to the prophecies, man. Because it's all about the prophecies, it's who fits the prophecies. That's the only real way to identify who's who in this world, man. This is the prophecies. There ain't, there ain't gonna be no DNA test. There ain't gonna be no paper documents that are gonna prove that you 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 know you go all the way back to Jacob. They ain't happening. They ain't gonna tell you that, right? So the only real way we we you know we got to go by is through these prophecies, right? Who fits the prophecies for what? And we know you issues. Right? Small hats don't fit the prophecies of being the children of God. Right? These things don't fit you. Right? But you, now you're going to make a big deal out of, you know, certain terms of being, being a Shemite and, and all this anti-Shemite, whatever. <laughs> right? As you like to put it. Okay? When, when you're not the only Shemitic people on the earth, man. Far from it. You know? But like I said, as soon as we start claiming something that belongs to us, man, you, you all got a problem and you automatically label it racist and hate, hateful and that because we, because we acknowledge who we are and we know the truth about who you are. You know? The only reason why, the only reason why you can do that is because, guess what? You got the power. The power is in your hand to dismiss all these things, man. You know, a Jake can't do that, man. Like, we can't turn around and say, oh, you're being racist for denying who I believe I am to be. We can't say that. No one gives a shit. Because we, we can quite easily play the same fucking game. You know? But because we're not recognised in this, in this place, a place of our captivity, we are not recognised as Israelites. No one gives a shit. Oh, it's just, just these niggas talking again. They always riled up about something, man. That's what that's what how the world treats us, man. Because going back to what was there, man, hey, again, we're not recognized as the people of God here. Okay, but in the same place, <laughs> it's gonna be revealed that we are the children of God. Right? And that's where everybody's fucking jaws are gonna drop to the fucking floor, man. And everyone's gonna start fucking crying. Because they know what time it is. <laughs> you know? These prophecies are going to come to pass, man. Right? And everybody's going to have to pay pay for their um 
for their wickedness, man. Right? But anyway, low witness is edifying. This is, you know, going on quite a while now. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to go on this long. But anyway, yeah, low witness is edifying. And um, oh, hopefully that clears it up a little bit. You know, what, what the difference is between between an Israelite and, and, and Judaism. You know, what it really is. You know, and why it's a simple fact of, oh, let's just convert. Let's just be a part of what they're on. They ain't on shit. <laughs> they ain't got the way. They ain't the people. Where are we going to follow them for? We're the people. All right? You, you've lied and, and robbed your way to where you are today, man. You know, whether you, whether you knew that or not. But your elites definitely fucking knew. Right? They, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. Okay, you peons, you're the ones that are fucking in the dark. <coughs> you know? So we're just claiming what's ours, man. Fuck, fuck how you feel about it. All right? But um, anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. And I'll catch you, bro. This is on the next video, man. So next time I say Shalom.